Hey everybody, I'm Caesar. Hi, I'm Lulu. And today we're gonna be giving you guys our DNA results in this video right here. So we chose Ancestry DNA. Uh, we picked that one because uh, there was a good deal on it actually. <laughs> and also because uh, it stated that they break down not only the country, but like the area, like where in that country you come from. So we thought that was pretty cool. We're kind of interested in doing uh, 23andMe, that way we could check out the differences. But this video is all about ancestry DNA, and I also did a video about how to collect and gather DNA. So check that video out if you're interested in that. I just want to give a little bit of our backgrounds. Um, I was born and raised in San Diego. My dad was born and raised in San Diego, but uh, my dad's side uh, is Mexican. And my mom's side, she was also born and raised in San Diego. And my mom's side is Italian. So I already knew I was Mexican Italian, but now I'm gonna show you guys how much percent. And about myself, well, my parents, both of them are Mexican, and but I know that my mom's side, they are from Spain. So let's check it out and the results, if that was true. All right, so without no further ado, let's get right into it. So my, do you wanna go first? No, you can go <laughs> Okay, so my top number one results that came back at 47%, which I think is pretty high, especially nowadays. So 47% Italian. So I know I look Italian. I just wanted to, you know, verify that. And I wanted to see how much percent. And I think that that's a lot. And uh, not only did it break almost down. Half. Yeah, almost half. Not only did it break it down that I was Italian, but it said that I was 47% uh, Sicilian. So I thought that was pretty cool that it, it uh, broke it down like where in Italy. So I thought that was cool. Mm -hmm. So my highest percentage was 32% and it was Native American, like the North. And also it was break it down from states, from Mexico, that they were really accurate because it was Jalisco. And I know my mom's side is from Jalisco and my dad from Baja California Norte. So that was like kind of shocking. Like they can know like, okay, maybe, yeah, you're from Mexico, but then they know the States. That's, that's cool. And we liked it. Oh yeah. My second highest is 18% and that is Spain. So 18% Spaniard. I thought I was going to be, uh, I guess, higher percentage in, uh, for Spain, but it was 18% just because of the whole Mexico, Spain, conquered Mexico thing. But, um, mm -hmm. but 18%, I'll take it. And to me, my second highest was Spain as well with 28%. And yeah, well, I mean, it's a high percentage, 28, I think. And yes, so my mom wasn't lying. <laughs> my mom's great, uh, my mom's grandma, which is my great grandma, she was from Spain, raised and born, and then she moved to Mexico. So, yeah, so maybe I have family there. She copied me because my Spain was Second, number two. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I have the highest percentage. <laughs> my third top DNA results is 16%, and that is Mexico. So, I knew uh, Mexico was coming up, I just didn't know how high or how low it was gonna be. Um, 16%, it's not low, it's not high. Um, but the cool thing was is that they broke down like what state my family's from so they broke it down that my um, My parents were from Sinaloa, Mexico and not only did it break down the state it did it to, it told me that uh, it, we, They were from southern Sinaloa, which is where Mazatlan's at So I thought it was cool that it like narrowed it down like to the state and to the what side of the state like I thought that was pretty cool my third place was Italy with 12% <laughs> so I think it's cool that our top threes are uh, they're in different order but they're the same, the same yeah. Italy Spain and Mexico so I thought that I thought that was cool that we're I guess I don't know, I don't think we're related or anything, but it just so happens. <laughs> it just so happens that our top threes uh, match up. Mm -hmm. Compatible. My fourth highest is 10% and it's Ireland and Scotland. 
So that was kind of a shocker to me. I didn't really know I had any Ireland or Scottish like blood or DNA or whatever you want to say. But uh, I don't know. I just thought that was weird, like 10% and like where does that come from? <laughs> mm-hmm. I'm guessing it comes from my mom's side, but I'm not 100% sure. And I don't know. I, it, it doesn't say like which country. It says both. So I don't know how much percent each one, but both. My fourth place, I got Portugal with 10% as well. 10%, 10%? Mm-hmm. Follow Portuguese? No. <laughs> <laughs> Follow Cristiano Ronaldo? No. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> my next one was like my shocker like I looked at it and I was like what did they get my DNA mixed up with somebody else's but uh, after doing research I'm like yeah other people are coming out with the like the same percent and from the same area so it's part of history yeah so 3% Congo and Cameroonian so I thought that was crazy like I was like what I was like, I'm African American. <laughs> I was like, what? Like, I, I seen the results and I, I don't know. I didn't believe it. And I just, I was like, I had to do a little bit of research. And, you know, I don't want to get into a history lesson or anything. But you just, that's how, that's how much, like, you know, Africans migrated up north to Europe and then all the Europeans that came to the US. But, Three percent. Yeah. Well, we don't think that anybody can say I'm a hundred percent these or I'm a hundred percent that because yeah, like everybody is mixed. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I got seven percent England of Wales, so I'm kind of related to Prince William, and <laughs> you know. Mm-hmm. My next one is I am apparently two percent. Uh, Greece or Greek? Um, 3% French. No wonder why. No, but no wonder why I like macaroons, (laughs) coffee. We eat frappes and lattes and all that good stuff. Croissants, everything. My last four are at 1%, and I don't know, 1% is super low, so I don't know. There they go. I'm um, 1% Mali, 1% Basque, which is in Spain, so I don't know if you want to take that 1% and then put it into Spain, so it'll bring up my Spain to 19% instead of 18%, but it uh, did separate that, and I know Basque, uh, they're trying to like become their own country, or they're trying to branch off from Spain, but that's their 1%. I'm also... England and Wales, but I am only 1%. You're so, not that related to Harry Potter. <laughs> I'm 1% Harry Potter. Do you Harry Potter? No. <laughs> Do you Harry Potter? It's Harry Potter. Harry Potter. So 1% Harry Potter or England and Wales. We are fans of Harry Potter, by the I, way. Yes, we are fans of Harry Potter. And I thought that was going to be higher. Like... Yours is 10%, right? England and Wales, 10%? 7. Oh, 7%? 7. Okay, yours is 7%? 10% Portugal. Oh, yeah, 10% Portugal. So you're 7% England and Wales. Like, I thought I was going to be higher in that. Why you thought you were going to be higher? I don't know, because I speak English and (laughs) English and Wales. (laughs) See? Mm -mm. You can be surprised. (laughs) My last and final one percentile is... Baltic states, whatever that is. I didn't really research it or anything, but it is 1%. And that's your highest. I mean, that's, and that's your 100%. 100% right there. Okay. (laughs) I got two, two percentage, and one was Native American Indian, and the other 2% was Mali. And last but not least, I have four one percentage. The first one percent is Cameroon. My peoples. The second one percent is Benin, Tongo. Interesting. The third one percent is Bosque. And the fourth one percent, which is the last one, is 
Jewish. European Jewish. All right. And that's my 100%. Yeah, so one of the things that I, you know, I after doing the math, so like I have 1% Mali and then 3% Congo and Cameroon, so total 4% African American. So I did not see that at all. Like when I got my results back, I didn't I didn't think I was going to see any of that, but I did. So if you haven't taken your DNA test and you or you think that you're one thing and, you know, Take the you test. can be surprised. You might be, yeah, yeah, you can be surprised. Definitely be surprised. Yeah. But it's interesting. It's really interesting. Were you surprised with anything? No. No, I mean, well, yeah. <laughs> with some no, of yeah. them. <laughs> yes and no. Yes and no. It depends. <laughs> and we absolutely love Ancestry DNA because they did a really great job. It takes a while to get these results, but it's worth it. Mm -hmm. And yeah, like. If you really want to know what's in your blood, your DNA, just do it. Yes, and I did want to bring up that uh, we have a son. His name is Leo. He's a little adorable guy. And uh, he's, he's too young right now to do his DNA. Baby. So we're waiting for him to get old enough because, I mean, yeah, we could do, you know, 50% mine, 50% hers, but we're kind of questioning the one percentages that we have. It's like, I have one, I have four one percentages, and then she also has four one percentages. So we're wondering if like those are gonna get knocked off or which ones stay, which ones go. So we're real interested to see how, how that goes actually. Mm -hmm. If you like this video, go ahead and smash that thumbs up. If you have any questions for us or any comments down below, please subscribe so you get more cool videos like this one and we will see you guys on the next one. Bye. Bye, -bye.